guys, it is Melissa here with the Raw Lifestyle. I was not planning on making a video today and because don't worry, I'm I always in the video. <laughs> because I actually have to take NCLEX tomorrow. I'm taking state boards tomorrow, Wednesday, June 5th. It's oh my gosh. Isaiah. Um, but I just picked up my first CSA distribution today, and I really wanted to share it with you guys. I want CSA to is like community it. supported uh, uh, agriculture. So um, basically you you pay in advance for a share of the farm's produce, um, whatever that might be. And um, a lot of times, Elijah, that's enough in there. A lot of times um, they'll have it like in a box already made up. I think you guys are familiar probably with Fully Raw Christina's um, co-op. It's, it's a little similar to that. Um, a lot of times we get to pick out our produce. So anyways, I just want to share with you guys today our first distribution here uh, June 4th in Michigan. Just show you guys what we got. Uh, so I've got my worker bees working along here. We've got some um, oh <laughs> organic planting soil and we're getting some ready. Because hey, do you have a Mommy, do you have a juice for me to try? Not right now, honey. Yeah. Shh. Behave. She's she's a she's a planting. She's planting. I didn't anticipate her getting uh, in there like that, but. I can't believe I can So this is a bean plant that Isaiah gave me for Mother's Day that I haven't planted Whoa. yet. Hey, can you calm down just for a second, please? Oh, look um, at it. it says my name. So he's and really yep. So he's my really plant. excited for me to finally plant it. There's actually two in here and they really need to be planted. One is doing really, really well. So we're gonna plant the bean I plant. Love okay, can you hold the bean plant a second? Oh, sure. And then I had gotten a basil plant a few weeks ago at the oh. <laughs> sorry oh. at the farmer's market. Um, but we've actually had frost here probably four or five times since I bought it. So I just I didn't really want to plant it outside yet, but it's a little Scares because I've been using it. Can, Why? <laughs> those are not last words. Hey, can you hold my basil plant too, please? Thank you. <laughs> so, to the CSA distribution. Today, I was lucky enough to get a tomato plant. I'm not holding me. Okay, I just picked it up. Oh, you just stepped on my tomato plant. Get off my tomato plant. Um, so, we have it here. And now, it had... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, hold on you guys. Ah! What are you doing? Oh no, oh no. That's too much in touch. Now that my daughter had her dinner. Oh um, so I've got this tomato plant here and it had leaves right here and it had some leaves right here and they told me to go ahead and peel those off. It's already got some flowers on and they told me to pinch them off because it shouldn't see if you guys can see what I'm doing. I just took these off because it shouldn't be blooming yet and I don't want to do this but um, it really stresses the plant you know to be transplanted and so it shouldn't start blooming yet. I think there's one more up here. Let's see if I can get that a second. But I'm really I was very excited to get the tomato plant so I wanted to get it planted right away nice root so here's the tomato plant I'm gonna plant it probably see if you guys can see how big it is probably right where my fingers are I'll plant it so I'm gonna get that planted and I don't even know what I got today it's a small distribution usually it's quite a bit bigger than this but it is the first week in June and it's Michigan and we've had a lot of frost, like I said, so I'm just grateful to get anything. Looks like cilantro. And this was all harvested um, yesterday evening and today, so it doesn't get fresher than that. So some nice fresh cilantro. Um, let's see. Arugula. Oh, it looks like a mix, mix of greens. I don't know if you guys can remember that. But there's definitely a variety of greens in here. Um, the spicier ones. And then there's like some darker ones down here. So probably a good half pound of greens. Um, I'm going to smell this. I don't, I'm not sure what this one is. It's an herb. Um, I don't think it's oregano. Do you guys know what this is? I didn't look at the sign to see 
what it said it was. Looks like some of the frost got to it too, but it almost smells like, I don't know, sage. Looks like a piece of kale hanging off of that. And then what else did I get? Looks like a big thing of bok choy. This is all 100% organic and definitely grown with love. I love these farmers. Um, one of these times when I have some time, I'm gonna go volunteer on the farm and I'll bring you guys along for that too. So, some bok choy. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably juice that, make a salad. And then some, looks like um, collards or, um, what am I thinking of? I can't, um, shard maybe. That's the word I'm looking for. Let's see what else is in here. Oh my goodness, it looks like the biggest head of romaine. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. I am going to go make a salad. Oh, lovely. Lovely. So fresh. Just picked. I am loving it. So we've got that. And some bread lettuce. So that is exciting. I'm trying to do this one hand. You guys, sorry. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, so good. And then looks like just some random leaves. This looks like kale. So that's not too bad. We've got, oh, I got my camera wet. Okay. So we've got some random greens, an herb, some more greens. We've got the cilantro, big bok choy, big purple lettuce, and it looks like a nice big romaine. It's beautiful and the tomato plant. So I'm gonna get this all planted and show you guys how it looks when we're all done. So here's what we ended up with. I planted the bean plant pretty far in there. There's the one and the second one that we're hoping will live. I'll keep you guys updated on that. And um, the tomato plant I planted pretty far in there too. Looks pretty good. I decided to put that one in the big pot just because, you know, I want it to go nice and tall and I'm not quite sure what variety it is. They, they weren't even sure. Um, it was kind of like a bonus. And then the basil, a uh, about this size pot and I planted it pretty far in there. So the start to our garden, 2013, pretty amazing. Um, we rent, so we can't really garden too much. Let me show you guys my sunflowers though. I did plant these kind of early and they are going very strong. I hope to, I hope I'll be able to um, bring a couple to seed. I just planted them in this old tote that Eli grew that watermelon in last year that didn't actually grow all the way. But there is a lot in here. Lots of them. And then I've got these random pots that I'm going to put stuff in, but they're just growing a bunch of weeds and pretty cool if you ask me. And um, let me see, I don't think there's anything else I can show you. Just the CSA stuff again and then Oh, the sky is <laughs> so pretty. It's getting late. It's probably about 7.30 or so. Yep. Boys are playing. <laughs> and then I have this over here. Well, this is one I wasn't going to show you, but pretty, pretty. And then this I just had left over from the winter, and it just kind of sat out all winter. And then I just started growing random stuff too. Oh, there was one more thing I definitely wanted to ask you guys about. Um, take you on a little walk. The yard is quite messy because I haven't done a lot with it because I have not had a lot of time. But <laughs> either way, I have these weeds growing and they look like dandelions, but I'm not exactly sure. So I wanted to ask your guys' opinion. Um, they usually spray. I actually think this is not a dandelion. Totally not. I thought it was, but now that I'm up close, it's prickly. Can you guys see the thorns? Is this that... There was this one that said to watch out that was growing in Michigan. Can you see the thorns on that? Man. So I don't know what kind that is. This might be a dandelion over here. Oh, maybe not. Nope, I don't think so. Okay, so they're not dandelions, but... Okay, that is all for today probably because I need to go study for state boards tomorrow. I'm pretty nervous about it. Have not done as much studying as I wanted to, but 
I'm as ready as I think I'll ever be. <laughs> it's just a little bit, you know, it's nerve wracking. It's a little bit anxiety and all that, but um, I will bust my butt to get this posted so I can finish studying a little bit. Just, you know, just a little bit of review meds and stuff like that and clean up my mess and I'll see you soon.